Hello, and today we're in the Accelta Training Centre in the UK, and the purpose of today's video is, is we're going to be concentrating on the new WS400 Series 2 uh, compliant spray gun. Today we're predominantly going to focus on the OBS setups, which are being redesigned, and we're going to go through comparison against the old version and the new version. So without any further ado, let's get in the booth and let's show you what the new gun is capable of doing. On this car, we're going to be painting Velocity Blue, which is a Jaguar Land Rover colour. What we're going to do is we're going to paint um, a wing across this bonnet, this wing, and we're going to do a blend in it into this door. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the blending clear on here. So we'll be using a WS400 compliant uh, for putting the blending clear on. We'll do the blend across the hood down to the wing, and then also then we'll go through the, also using the clear coat gun as well. So what we're going to do first and foremost, we're going to explain the new OBS. We're going to explain the differences between the old and new. We're going to do some spray outs on the wall and we're going to show you the differences and we're going to show the improvements. So now we're going to look at the two guns alongside each other. We have the uh, Series 1 WS400 base coat configuration and we have the new Series 2 base coat configuration. As you see here, I have a Series 1 which has the gauge on the bottom for checking your pressure and we have the Series 2 where we have the gauge in the handle so we can check the pressure more precisely. Okay, so we've spread out the new OBS with the Series 2. As you can see with the pattern, it's straight out of the box application. No fine adjustment are needed, everything fully open, two bar, gun handle, dynamic pressure, trigger pulled. Nice even pattern all the way across the pattern. Nice width. On the new one, it's a little bit wider, a little bit fuller, where the old one was very thin and very long and flat. This one is still flat, but a little bit wider, a little bit fuller. The edges are softer and rounder at the top. This is great for application for overlaps. So we've worked hard on getting this softer and more even. Atomization is really consistent top to bottom. The, what, the reason for this is also as well, what we've done is we've concentrated on predominantly the front end, its performance. In the past, with the old series we're on, we had one cap that did base coat and clear coat. With that, you always got a bit of a trade-off. So you, you worked hard to get clear coat right, but there'd be a trade-off slightly with base coat and vice versa. If you tried to concentrate on base coat, the clear coat would also slightly, slightly suffer. So now what we've done is we've worked on two caps for base coat and clear coat. That means we can harmonize and truly get the performance we're looking for when we're looking at base coat and clear coat. So now with the base coat, with a new base coat compliant air cap, we've been able to fine tune the pattern, get the shape we want, get the width we want, get the softness we want. So that, absolutely beautiful, absolutely perfect. As I said, straight out of the box application. So what we'll do now is we'll spray out a series one against the series two, and I'll show you what the differences are between the two and how we've moved on to the next generation of the WS400 for base coat application. Okay, so I've now sprayed out this, the series one original OBS setup. As you can see, the pattern's really large. Very even, very flat across the pattern. Um, but depending on the climates and conditions, because it was so flat and even through the center, it sometimes had a tendency to want to split in the center, get a bit of ball in top and bottom. So because of that, again, depending on the conditions you're in, people tried to find that sweet spot. They would wind it in to find where the true um, fine adjustment was. So a lot of people used to complain it wasn't out of the box experience. So we've worked hard on getting that right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to spray it out and I'm going to show the differences in the turns that you had to try and get to to where people perceive was that sweep spot for the original OBS. Okay, so we now sprayed out, as we did before, the Series 1 fully open. As you can see, that pattern is really big, really long, really flat, which is, which is great in certain conditions. In standard conditions, that's fine. But when you go into different kinds of climates and conditions, depending where that condition is, it would tend to, because it was so flat and narrow, it maybe start to tend to split in the center. So you might get a bit of balling or banding at the top. So what people then tried to do was find that sweet spot. Where is the sweet spot on the original OBS Series 2? So they screw in one turn, two turns, three turns. In doing this turning, you change in the characteristics of the pattern. So as we've said in many videos before, with the long, completely true flat patterns, 
when you're applying base coats and clear coats, if you don't quite get your overlap quite right, because it's a flat pattern, the back of the pattern would help you fill in those imperfections. It would help to get that application, that homogeneous application across the panel, because you weren't worrying too much about having a center wet pattern. It was flat and even. So when people started to change this and you work your way down, you're starting to change the shape and also the characteristic of how this performs. As you come down now to three turns, you've actually changed it that much. It's become very elliptical and very center wet. So when from an application point of view and you're working across a, a critical color on say maybe a hood, where your overlap now is changed. On the big pattern, you've got all that pattern to play with. Fully flat, fully uneven. When you get to this point, you've only got this point to work with. So now you've got to get your overlap absolutely bang on at that point where with the big flat patterns, you've got all that to get your overlap quite right. So trying to find where the, where the sweet spot was always was very difficult, depending where you were, in what condition, what temperatures, what kind of conditions, humidity, um, vice versa, whatever. So we've worked very hard at improving this, listening to the market, what the market wants, what the market requires from the next generation of application. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to spray a series one fully open against a series two fully open and explain the differences and how we've improved the performance and also how we managed to achieve that. So the difference now, as we see from the old, very narrow, very thin. Also as well, as you can see already, because of that really thin pattern, even though it's nice and long and flat and even, it still has a tendency to pinch. So it could start to band and stripe depending on those climates and conditions. Now with the new one, with the Series 2, the pattern is straight out of the box. A straight out of the box experience, fully open, two bar at the gun handle. The pattern now is fuller, wider, more material across the pattern, but still even. Flat and even all the way from top to bottom. Still giving you that renowned Anisty Water flat pattern. The areas now at the bottom of the top are softer, rounder. Sometimes the tendency with the old um, Series 1 was you get a little bit of a, a sharp edge. So again, people were looking for that fine adjustment. As we said before, they would try and fine tune and bring it down. Now you have that out the box experience with no banding, no pinching, nice full pattern, top to bottom, really, really nice. Atomization, really tight and consistent. Massive improvement, big improvement. So, the way we've managed to do this, in a number of reasons, one of them is an important part, in the past between Series 1 and Series 2. So a Series 1, the air cap was the same air cap for base coat and clear coat, 0, 1. But the problem there is there's a bit of a trade-off. When you're designing, you try and get the base coat right, but then the trade-off is the clear coat isn't exactly right. So you try and do the same and vice versa. So there was always a bit of a trade-off. So what we've done now is we've actually designed a designated air cap for base coat and a designated air cap for clear coat. So if you now look at OBS, for example, OBS now has its own designated OBS cap. This means we can concentrate on getting the application absolutely 100% like we wanted to. And the same with clear coat. We focused on an air cap to be uh, in harmony with the nozzle and needle configurations for clear coat two separate caps for two different kinds of applications. This means now we can focus on this, get the width, get the size, get the length, get the softness we want by having its own designated cap for series two. As you can see with series one now, it's very thin here, potentially fully open is pinching there, slightly top and bottom heavy. So potentially needing to have that fine tuning going on with this fully out of the box, fully open, bang, nice and flat and even, nice and soft, perfect. Absolutely beautiful. We're now back in the booth. What we're gonna do is we're gonna paint this front end. Uh, this is gonna be sprayed in a color called Velocity Blue, which is a Jaguar Land Rover color. And um, we're gonna do a blend into this door. So doing the blend, we're then gonna use a standard OBS uh, Series 2 non-digital. So the, the new Series 2 comes in two versions. It comes in standard non-digital and it comes in the digital version. So we'll be using the digital version for doing the overall application. Um, but on this point, as I said, we'll do the blend with the, ser the Series 2 non-digital 
and then we'll blend into the door, across the front, and over to the other side on the other wing. Once that's done, we'll have a look at that, and then we'll move on to the clear coat application. We'll explain again a little bit more about Series 2 uh, using the clear coat setups. Looking at the surface, absolutely faultless, really nice, really homogenous across the surface of that hood and down the sides. We've, um, we've done a blend in the door, that's gone in really, really nice, uh, no problems whatsoever. Very, very easy to do when you're doing the blend. Uh, as I said, with the new OBS, the OBS pattern now, as I said before, is a little bit fuller, a little bit wider. Top and bottom have soft edges to it, so as you're working across this hood, with those soft edges, if you have to reach, as I had to with this car off the ground, because it's, it's a bit of a reach to it, the back end of that pattern, with it being softer and rounder, helps with that reduction of any banding that might happen. Some cases with the old Series 1, you might get a bit of lining because the top and bottom was quite sharp and quite long and thin. So the OBS Series 2 now compensates for that and assists you if you don't quite get that pattern absolutely flat the back, back of the pattern, that soft roundness, helps with you to get a nice, even application. So looking at it all around, very happy. Absolutely nothing wrong with that whatsoever. So what we're going to do now is we're going to move on to clear coat. We'll look at the Series 2 uh, WS for clear coat. We'll just touch on a few points of that and then we'll get it, we'll get it painted. As I said, we now split the air caps. We have one designated cap for base coat and now we have a designated cap for clear coat. So it means we've been able to focus on both, as I said before, and now we've been able to focus more on the clear coat, getting it absolutely the way we want it. Very difficult to see on this paper, but we've got a nice, long, again, flat, even pattern. Soft edges, a little bit fuller again, a little bit wider, a little bit fuller. Um, again, soft, those soft round edges, so, we, so the overlaps are not as harsh, a little bit softer. We focused on the atomization as well. We made the atomization more stable. So the droplet size were a little bit more consistent than they were before. And uh, the shape is really nice and even all the way across that pattern. So looking at the finish on that, really nice, really flat, really homogenous across that bonnet. Um, beautiful uh, lay down. Looking down the side, uh, the blend looks really nice. No problems at all with that. It's gone in really lovely. Um, clear coat finish, really, really uh, consistent. As I said with the uh, Series 2 HD nozzle and needle configurations, now we now have an air cap for base and clear. The clear coat air cap, we've now slightly modified that. We've made the pattern a little bit fuller, softer the edges, and uh, control the atomization and the balance even better. So as you're going across the thing like this bonnet, this hood, um, if you don't quite get that overlap quite right, the back end of the pattern will keep on working for you. It's not center wet, so as we said, where the overlap isn't as critical as it might be with more of a center wet pattern. So looking good, looking really, really nice. So what we're going to do now is we're going to do the next car. We'll go through a few of the things again just quickly, but we'll paint the side of this vehicle and uh, we'll see how we get on with that one. Okay, so we're now back in the booth this afternoon. Once we've now finished that first job, we're now gonna do this second job. This is now going to be a full size of a car. We're going to be using Valencia orange, which is a Renault color. Uh, we're going to be using OBS again, standard, standard conditions with a standard OBS setup. 
And then after that, we're going to use uh, the Series 2 WS400 HD for using on a tinted clear. So we'll uh, do some more spray outs. So just look at the pattern shapes and sizes again, just briefly. Uh, but then we'll get into this and we'll see what uh, results we get once we get going. So this is what is classed as a OBS standard conditions. What we also have in the range now are the OBS range. We have an OBS plus and we have an OBS minus. So three variations of OBS for the market. What this means is, depending on the climates and conditions, wherever you are, it means now you have options. You have an OBS that has slightly larger droplets and you have OBS that has slightly finer droplets. This means for those conditions, humidity differences, whatever it may be, you now have three options for the application. We'll focus on this again later at some point in, in extra videos, but today we're working in standard conditions, 22 degrees, 40, 45% humidity. So we're gonna be working with standard OBS on this application, the same as we did this morning. But this is something to consider moving forward that now we have three variations of OBS which assist you in all those different conditions or climates wherever you are because now we have those variations of the size of the droplets. Okay, so now we're painting this car and we'll see what results we get. Base coat's now flashed off, nice and even, really nice, uh, no mottle whatsoever. Application with OBS, nice and easy. As I said, that fan pattern, nice and flat and even with the soft edges, um, just kind of really effortless when you're spraying, especially a side like this. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna, we're gonna put a tinted clear on this. We're gonna spend more time on the clear coat setups in later videos. Today's purpose was to focus predominantly on base coat and the OBS setups. So as I said, later on, we'll maybe focus and drill down more into the uh, clear coat uh, options, different options for different clears. So let's get this done. We'll apply the clear coat and then see what it looks like once we're done. Okay, so we've just come back in the booth just to look at this uh, end result. As we said, this had a tinted clear over the top uh, of the base coat. Uh, the tinted clear was applied using a 1.3 HD with the new Series 2 WS400. Beautiful, nice lay down on both the base coat and the clear coat. Really nice application, faultless application. It was very, very easy when applying both the base coat and the clear coat. Letting the gun do the work for you. As I said, with that pattern with the shape, the size and the softness and the roundness, it's easy to get a nice application. Um, and as I said, you let the gun do the work for you. So anyway, that's the end of this video. If as always you have any questions or you, or you need any answers, always revert back to the TDS sheet. In there will always be all the information required. Um, but uh, I hope you've enjoyed the video today. I hope you've uh, learned something new and you've seen something new. We will continue to make these videos as we go along. Um, but for now, that's it from us. Um, see you soon. Thank you. Active with newest technology.
Ernest Iwata.